Hey, I'm Josh from Brown Dog Gadgets. Today we're going to show you how to make a fun noisemaker using one of our programmable Crazy Circuits boards and some Squishy Circuits dough. To build this project, you'll need the following items. Some alligator clips, either a touch board or a robotics board, a screw terminal chip, a piezo speaker chip, some nylon conductive tape, some Squishy Circuits dough or other dough, a Lego base plate, and some resistors. Typically in a project such as this, you'd use a simple variable resistor to control the sound coming out of the piezo speaker. Instead, we're going to make the exact same thing, but we'll be using some squishy circuits dough and a resistor as well as a screw terminal just to make things really easy. But essentially we're turning these items into our own fun-filled squishy manipulative variable resistor. The first thing you'll want to do is to plug the resistor into the screw terminal. Screw it down and you're done. We're using a 460 ohm resistor, however, feel free to use larger or smaller resistors to see what kind of results you get. Something around 400 to 500 is probably best for this project though. As the brains of this project, we'll be using a Crazy Circuits touch board. Now it is uh, Lego or brick compatible, however, the Lego holes don't go all the way through the board. So we'll be using some red 1x6 and 1x8 Lego pieces to make a bit of a platform for it. You can do this exact same activity using a regular Arduino or any Arduino compatible circuit board, uh, but we like using our crazy circuits parts because we like doing our things on a nice Lego grid. We put our project in the bottom left corner which gives us a lot of space on the top right to add more components later on. The first part we'll be attaching is our piezo speaker. We have to go from pin 16 on our touch board to the piezo speaker and then from ground on the other side to the piezo speaker. The best way to handle this is just to put the piezo speaker down near pin 16 and then run conductive tape. Start by applying tape to the Lego stud that is under pin 16. Run it to where the piezo speaker is and then cut off excessive tape. We're going to use a small screwdriver just to push the tape down and make things look nicer, but uh, you don't really need to do that. Your fingernail would work just fine. Do the same thing by going from ground to the ground of the piezo speaker. Doesn't matter which way the piezo speaker is put down, it will work just fine either way if you have it backwards. You want to put your resistor screw terminal in the top right corner with a bit of space around it. What we're going to eventually do is run tape from pin 14 to the resistor, as well as from the 5 volt voltage known as VIN on our board, also to the resistor board, and then go from ground to one of our alligator clips. Nothing too crazy, just conductive tape on Lego again. Start by running a piece of conductive tape from pin 14, do a right angle turn, and then end at the white side of the resistor screw terminal. Cut off excess tape and pressure fit down to make sure everything connects. Using the same process, run tape from the VIN pin on your touch board all the way to the colored side of our screw terminal. Using some leftover tape, run it from the other stud that's under your white side of your screw terminal off the end of your board. Fold over an edge to give yourself a double-sided area and leave it there. That'll be for the alligator clip. The easiest way to go from ground to off of your Lego base plate is to just go under that line of tape that's coming off pin 14. Just thread a new piece of tape underneath the existing line of tape and just press it down with a screwdriver or a pencil or whatever to make sure it's not making contact with the line above. Do a right angle turn all the way over to the ground hole and then run it off the edge and fold over the edge again like you did with the last piece. Not tough, just slightly annoying and once it's done you should be good to go. Push on your screw terminal as well as your touch board. Make sure all the contacts are nice and secure and that nothing is kind of flailing all over the place. The last thing you want to do is have a piece of tape touching a pin it shouldn't be touching. You'll need to upload code to the touch board or your Arduino board to make something happen. We have two different sets of code you can use. One does alternating sounds and one does straight tones. You can find links to both the sets of code in the description below or on our website crazycircuits.com. 
To test out your code, take one of your alligator clips and then connect it to both sides of tape. If it works, great. If it doesn't, uh, check your upload again. Both sets of code work the exact same way. They measure the voltage change over the Play-Doh itself. Same way it'd work with a variable resistor. The longer the dough is, the more resistance there is, which means a lower voltage. The shorter the dough is, or closer together it is, the less resistance there is, and the more voltage that the Arduino circuit will see. Playing around with it is simple and easy, and you can make some fun sound effects. You can use its exact same process to control a servo or, say, the rate of blinking or fading an LED does. Basically, any Arduino project that uses a variable resistor can use this setup instead. It just depends on how kinesthetic you want that project to be. For diagrams, parts, pictures, and both sets of code, check out our write-up at crazycircuits.com. We hope this is a helpful video for you, and we'd love to see what kind of crazy dough-based things you can make. You can get wonderful dough from squishycircuits.com as well as recipes on how to make your own dough from them on their website. Good luck!